Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mike835 again, bringing you another G-Shock review and unboxing. What's going on, YouTube? I just wanted to show you this latest pickup I just got in from the land of the rising sun yesterday. And uh, as you see here with the Japan box, JDM, how you guys call it, let's pop a lid, because we're not in the US we have the <laughs> we have the Japan version of course if you see here is this is the Japan module I mean I'm sorry Japan manual and of course this number is here is the 5146 module straight from Japan let's see what we have here do the little flip a -roo. and this is a uh, Japan box this is what uh, most G-Shocks come from Japan how the presentation and box looks like uh, you were just used to uh, the normal um, cardboard bla uh, black box and the tin can from US G-Shocks but uh, this being a Japan model this comes in the black Japan box and uh, wait till I flip a top so you see what I have today for you guys I'm gonna show you something that um, it's not gonna come out in the United States it's only gonna be I believe in Europe and Japan so um, those are the two major markets where this uh, piece will be releasing but um, like I said it won't be uh, coming to the United States so um, yeah let's pop a top and see what we have here of course the JDM box and there it is with the complement pillow box from Japan we have the matte metallic series the GA110SG-4AJF 15,000 yen with taxes 15,750 of course this is the tag on this uh, Japanese release G-Shock and uh, such a beautiful watch I just got it in yesterday and um, yeah this one uh, is just a stunner when you uh, open the box it definitely has a big wow factor um, so let me zoom in here so you guys can see more of the fine detail that this watch has to offer. This is a matte finish as you're seeing here, uh, but it isn't, uh, you know, it isn't uh, highly glossy, but it's the new, uh, like the tag says, it's the new matte metallic series as you're seeing here. As you see, it has, uh, you know, a bit of sparkle built in in the resin as you're seeing here. That was a text message if you're wondering what was that bicycle sound so uh, yeah kind of crazy right now and uh, it's early in the morning so a whole mess of people are texting but just that's how it works whole mess of text messages and yeah let me get back to the piece this is the new matte metallic GA 110 so I wanted it to show it to all my people on YouTube let me uh, as you see here it's like a uh, silverish with a uh, silverish metallic inside. It's, it's a really beautiful watch. I would recommend it to anybody who's into like GA110s. This is what, um, you know, a few collectors have named this piece, the unofficial name of this piece, the creamsicle. Uh, because it really does look like a creamsicle, um, you know, ice cream pop. If you go on YouTube, put creamsicle, you'll see what I'm talking about. You have the, the light tangerines short of orange with the white inside so yeah the white is the ice cream guys yep that is the detail on the band as you're seeing here the keeper is matte orange and that's the buckle that is the back plate the GA 110 SG with the 5146 module and of course the buckle says Casio China and it's been cased in uh, you know Japan Japan movement it's been cased in China but its movement is uh, Japan GA 110 SG matte metallic such a pretty watch really fancy I love the way it looks and the, the sparkle is amazing I hope my camera is picking up the detail which I'm seeing with my eyes right now and hopefully if I see it that means that everybody on YouTube can see it so that's what uh, I wanted to achieve in my video just uh, for you guys to see the, the high definition detail uh, that you know this watch has to offer it's really nice and um, yeah as you're seeing here 
matte metallic you have the LED on the bottom you can take off the light so you guys have a better perspective yeah there it is sick ass light wicked just you know such a wicked color it's uh, one of the newest ones that uh, Casio released um, I'm very lucky to have this in my hands right now as um, like I said earlier in my video I don't believe that this is coming over to the United States so um, for me to grab one uh, it's kind of elite I feel pretty happy to have it in my hands right now it's really nice and um, yeah, I love having G-Shocks earlier you know buying them earlier before they even hit you know any US or market or Europe or whatever I just like to have it in my hand just right about now this is uh, the GA110 SG matte metallic as you're seeing here such a nice watch yet again thank you guys for watching my video I just wanted to give you a quick glimpse on this new uh, GA110 SG big shout out to everybody in that little thing of ours Big shout out to Chavo, Mr. Washington Mina, Spindler the Spectacular, Michael Myers, people in the UK, Mike Hughes, uh, Wizard, G-Shock Wizard, uh, Jay Soriano, Crispy, uh, Danny Handsome, T-Sip, <laughs> Will Lichter, who else we have? Um, Will Lichter, we have um, G-Dub, Jose Colado, G-Dub's brother. You know how I do. What's up, little bud, man? Anyways, uh, everybody who's uh, really interesting in uh, watching my videos, I thank you guys for watching. Big shout out to uh, Dover Casio. Big shout out to uh, Corey Puff, uh, Phyllis Frazier. Uh, everybody out there putting in that work for the G-Shock. I love you guys, and I can't just stress enough how much I love G-Shock comes in within the heart so yeah thank you guys for watching my video it's been mike835 i i really hope you did enjoy my video thanks for watching please remain please remember to rate comment and subscribe uh it really helps me out um on my you know getting on to the next video uh thanks again and uh have a good day bye bye